The COVID pandemic has forced a Nashville establishment to shut its doors, a long time establishment. Chaffin's Barn Dinner Theater has closed after entertaining guests for more than 50 years. New at 10, News Channel 5's Emily Luxon explains how the owner hopes the theater will be remembered. The final curtain call at Chaffin's Barn Dinner Theater has left many reminiscing about the Bellevue Landmark's rich history. AJ and his wife, they're over here on this wall. For owner Norma Luther. We had 20 shows planned for the year. There are too many memories to count. Some of our members have been coming for 50 years and their children have now been coming. So for them, this was passed down through generations, I guess you could say. Since 1967, the first professional theater in Nashville has built a reputation for providing quality entertainment while giving back to the community. I had people from New York, Connecticut tell us that we were better than Broadway. Some of our shows were just phenomenal. But the stage has been dark since March due to COVID-19. Norma struggled to find a way to reopen the intimate theater in the round while keeping employees and customers safe. The numbers just don't add up and there's no way to make that work. There are certainly a lot of jackets that I've worn. Now performers like Daniel Bissell and longtime staff members are collecting keepsakes. I see costumes that have been worn by my friends over the years, so I'm just trying to grab everything I can fit in my car. <laughs> An extensive collection of clothing, accessories and props is slowly disappearing in preparation for the building to be sold. While this place will close, our relationships will go on forever and the memories of this place are gonna continue. It's not a place, it's within the hearts of everybody. And everyone who played a role in Chaffin's past hopes its legacy will live on. You know, we just had a lot of fun, a lot of fun at the barn, a lot of happy memories. In Bellevue, Emily Luxon, News Channel 5. Thank you, Emily. All tickets and memberships have been refunded. The property will go on sale after October 15th. If you need more information on getting a refund or about the property, you can visit this story on newschannel5.com.